Hey, Christian Post, this is Jeannie Ortega here with Jim Caviezel, one of my favorite actors. Oh, thank you. And um, the star of the upcoming film, Paul, Apostle of Christ. Such, such a good film. Mm. You know, I'm very encouraged by you just coming from the world of Hollywood and taking on these roles that can be a stigma, you mm. know, in, sure. in, in Hollywood and the entertainment industry. I know all too well. <laughs> um, but what I and what what I'm getting from you and and what I got from the film was uh, just there's a humility, there's a, a selflessness, like not worrying about promoting Jim Caviezel, but the message. And you know, Paul said he boasted in his weakness. Mm. Um, and, and I feel like I feel like men probably have it even harder because there's all the pride and the ego that comes into play. And then when you have success and fame, how do you, uh, how do you surrender to that and huh. take on roles that are considered the, the less popular thing to do, especially in, in your business? Oh. I'll be point blank with you. My industry has been around for a century. Mm -hmm. The Word of God has been around for 5,000 mm. years if you want to go back to Moses and Abraham. <laughs> I, I, I don't know how... Um, it, it won't... I, I, two parts. One, am I the right guy? No, never thought I was the right guy to play Jesus. Mm. But a friend of mine told me this. He said, God doesn't always choose the best, mm. but He chose you. So what are you going to do about it? Um, I, I lo look at the role of Luke and to be whole body mind and spirit now my industry says be whole in the body and the mind but not the spirit mm -hmm. see yeah. without the spirit the spirit is what motivates the mind and motivates the the and and also you know if the industry says you're here um you know and it, the ego is huge mm -hmm. what what made you so uh beautiful is the humility as saul paul uh, will show you in his uh, pride uh, blinded him and many, I don't want to be blinded and um, and then when the industry turns on you and you're down here mm -hmm. you're neither here nor here you're here if you stay here you know when they hit you and down here well you know you're here if they tell you you're God you're here mm -hmm. you know that but that doesn't mean I don't I work uh, in a mediocre mediocre way that's right I've often heard a lot about faith-based films. People ask me about faith-based uh, films. You doing faith-based films? Mm -hmm. I said, um, *Chariots of Fire* is a faith-based film, I yes. guess. Um, *The Count of Monte Cristo* was. Um, mm -hmm. you know, *Frequency*. Um, I, I look for things that have a moral redemption to it, some sort of quality. But a lot of these quote faith-based films are crap. Yeah. They're terrible. No, yeah executed um, and then people like this generation doesn't want to you know they're just like no I'm good you know so yeah I get it this one and especially the way it's done so now I've good. watched but the film the quality the uh, effective storytelling like the passion of the Christ yeah. you walk out and you you've you your heart is burning um, <laughs> yes indeed and uh, you know recently there was a Broadway uh, play that uh, big Hamilton, mm -hmm. same thing. You walk out and your heart is mm -hmm. burning. It's, it, you know that's 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 a Holy Spirit. So, it is. Um, and uh, you know, the other thing is that they've also asked me about you know why, and I said, well, there's been a lot of faith-based films. You just don't recognize them. They're called Star Wars. Mm -hmm. They're, they're mm -hmm. called The Hobbit. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, um, but that's and, true. but we're actually going to the source, the material. Yeah. Do you feel like this is a calling? Certainly, yeah. certainly. But uh, I, I, I did it without, as you say. It was never, I, I never focused on me. I just wanted to play the, the character well. Yeah. And uh, Jesus was, you know, why, why do I want them to see me? I want them to see Jesus. Yeah, and we did. That's what, and even with this film, it's so funny. Um, you know, seeing you in a different role, you're not playing, like, because I'm sure everyone probably still says, oh, it's Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> um, but in this film, you taking on Luke, 
you know, it's exactly the same thing. You took on the character, this character, Luke, in a way where you become the character. Mm. And the message is what's at the forefront. And it was the exact same thing with Jesus. That you were phenomenal. You looked great as Jesus. You know, you went through hell <laughs> as yeah. Jesus. And we'll talk about that in a minute. But you, you didn't come through. Jim Caviezel didn't come through. Mm. It was the Holy Spirit working through you. And I will say this, I felt the exact same way in this film. And it was mm. so refreshing. It was it's a refreshing thing for and that's what we need. I think that's what will change the world. Right. It's the spirit, you know. The Christians need to understand, uh, we're two point three billion. Mm. That's that's much bigger than three hundred million people in the United States. Mm. Uh, and um, it, it w but if we want to hold the truth, we have to show by love. Yeah, amen. Um, and amen. I often talk to people about that, you know, our Lord is not going to spare you from suffering. Yeah. In fact, his closest apostles suffered tremendously. Yeah. Um, and in that suffering, we still have to forgive and, uh, and to be, you know, Christ for others. Mm -hmm. We ask God, what, you know, if I said to you, why did you convert? You would say, well, because the love he showed me. Mm. Why won't you give that to others? Yeah, exactly. It would be a selfish thing, That's which correct. is contrary to what Jesus is. So it becomes like an elite country club. Yeah. You know, like That's we are here and they are there and too mm. bad for them. And mm. uh, th this is not appropriate. Yeah, I'm, I I'm complete, uh, completely agree with you on there's a line in this film, Paul the Apostle of Christ, that reminded me of what you went through in the first uh, Passion of Christ film that you, you did as a faith-based role. Um, Paul says, men don't die for things that they doubt. And I thought about, I, you know, I know there's buzz, and I think you've recently talked about doing a, a, a sequel to The Passion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I think... You were struck by lightning. You mm. got hypothermia. Is it? You, I think I recently heard you said you had open heart surgery yeah. after. Yeah. You went through all of this filming that first film, and yet you would go through it again. Well, I don't know if I'll have open heart surgery again. No, you not. will not. But I'm saying, <laughs> put yourself in the position where, despite what you know, you had to endure yeah. the first time. Yeah. So I'd say. You're either crazy yeah. or you're called. Oh, I'm crazy. <laughs> and called. And I'm called. <laughs> Tell us about I love, just that. I, I just love Jesus. I feel like we, I that's what I'm saying, him. this world yeah. needs that. Yeah. That even if, despite of, yeah. still I had, taking that role. I had th uh, three children, and um, it, uh, all of them are adopted. And oh, we went to uh, orphanages in uh, different parts of the world. And to see what how they suffer, oh, uh, really, I, I felt like I needed to do something and um, be, you know, to try to take away some of that suffering. And mm -hmm. you know, when I prayed to Jesus, I said, "What what can I do to help you?" And certainly, then the movie, the passion came my way. And so wow. I I said, "But you got to be, you got to." I'll do all the work that I can, but you've got to put the miracle on, and that is, I want you to visit them. I want you to use my body, and, uh, and the, you know, and I prayed for James in the Paul the Apostle mm -hmm. of Christ. He was wonderful. And I got to, uh, you know, when I was praying for him, I just, you know, I was reading an interview where he says, I didn't play Paul, it played me, and wow. that was, you know, m my prayer mm. uh, that 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 he would and he did he's amazing he was he it was great became him and um um those are the best those are the great actors you know that don't want to get in the way with ever whatever that is they mm -hmm. they just um you know they they sacrifice whoever they are to get to, to let the audience experience you know god in some way oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. excellent so so uh the the uh, yeah uh, and and uh, the the passion the resurrection same thing someday when I'm gone this will be passed on the film will live forever I agree. now it doesn't mean they like it in the time you made it but 
you know, that, that it will go on forever. And I rem I'm reminded of that whenever, every time I watch It's a Wonderful Life. Mm. It kind of got lost. No one ever saw it, and all of a sudden, during Christmas, <laughs> it's a classic. people are watching it. It is. <laughs> well, so. Jim, I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart um, for for taking on the, you know, it's not the popular thing to do, maybe, in this time, but it's the necessary thing, and I'm mm -hmm. grateful. I know mm -hmm. that the generations to come will benefit from your work, seriously. And I know actors are like, well, I'm just an actor, but I don't believe that. Like you said, I believe this this is the future of ministry for this generation, the generations to come. So, Hello, all you people in the future when I'm dead and gone. No! <laughs> <laughs> but thank you so much. Anything, uh, any final thing you want to say to kind of charge uh, just all of us? Uh, God bless you. You weren't made to fit in. Mm. You were born to stand out. Amen. To